I think one of the uh, most frequent questions that we get asked uh, by our patients is what should I eat? How can I, or what supplements should I take? What can I do to improve my overall health uh, and well-being? And the reality of it is, is this question is very poorly addressed by many oncologists. Uh, and, and in large part, it's because the, um, um, the uh, well-performed uh, studies with clear uh, data are, are not uh, very abundant. Right. Um, I think there are epidemiological studies that suggest that among individuals uh, uh, who develop precursor conditions or who have precursor myeloma conditions that progress to myeloma, that, that the um, intake of less animal-based uh, diet products, the higher intake of fruits and vegetables and fiber are all things that are associated with I, both less incidence of myeloma precursor and less progression of myeloma precursor to myeloma disease. We have um, actually performed a, a pilot study trying to evaluate, again, in the maintenance setting, what uh, patients uh, are eating and uh, how that associates with depth of response and sustained minimal residual disease negativity. And the observations there from a diet perspective were that more plant-based uh, proteins uh, and seafood proteins uh, were associated uh, uh, with a better uh, sustained MRD negativity rates. And this seemed to be uh, again associated with a higher degree of microbial products in the intestines that make uh, butyrate, uh, which is something that could have both anti-myeloma effect and potentially also impact on the immune response uh, in a, a favorable uh, way uh, for myeloma patients. So there's also a, a pilot uh, study uh, of a dietary intervention, a plant-based uh, intervention uh, performed by my colleague, Irvi Shaw. Uh, where 20 patients with myeloma precursor conditions that were uh, o overweight or obese were offered the opportunity to participate in uh, nutritional counseling and plant-based uh, diet. Uh, that uh, study has now been accrued. Uh, and I think the fundamental finding there is that folks could modify their lifestyle and diet to a plant-based uh, diet successfully. And that resulted in a higher degree of butyrate producing uh, bacteria in uh, their uh, uh, microbiome um, and also in uh, a reduction in markers of inflammatory, of overall chronic inflammation as well as uh, weight loss. Uh, and of course, it remains to be seen in uh, larger studies uh, whether or not this is something that will lead to better uh, myeloma control or um, a reduction in incidence of progression from a precursor condition to uh, multiple myeloma if uh, individuals can sustain or maintain this type of plant-based dietary lifestyle modification.